Hey Kingston ATV here, down visiting my friends at uh, Jim Thompson Chrysler, 805 Gardens Road, Kingston, Ontario. They have got some serious inventory going on, over 250 vehicles in stock with more on the way. And I heard they're running a new promotion again. The boys are bringing back the one-up deal, where we'll match and we'll beat any deal offered in our market on the same vehicle. Go to oneupdeal.ca and you might save yourself up to $8,000 on a brand new Chrysler Ram Dodge. all the cars at the same time so uh we drew for four positions and if i didn't get lucky number nine this is my lucky number but that is the last pole position let's go dad come on dad let's go is this cam's group i think it is yeah it is there it is right there oh boy Second heat, they're gonna reverse the order and I should get to start first, so we'll see how she goes, right? Holy shit! Uh, woo! That was sick! We landed pretty hardcore on the front bumper into uh, the next snow bank. Dad's smoking. Yeah. That's just the snow on the exhaust. And my fan decided to conk out. Not sure really why it seized up the blades are. Well, overheating started. Fan was just packed, probably because we just about nosed over. Come on, Kelly, go get him! So I got another fan of the truck and the time has come to really just kind of yank it apart and see what's going on there. I can see it chipped here too. So right here at the front is where she bent and the gusset plate looks nice and good sandwiched in with the arms. So that's good. I also noticed any bushings on this side. So um, yeah, but thumbs are the brakes. So I've got to rip that out of there. We'll get this thing back to the trail worthy. Order up some bushings. I love this XRS, the Smart Shocks was a huge, huge upgrade on the old models. I really like the way we got this car dialed out, to be honest with you. I like the HMF front and rear bumpers, they look awesome. Those radius rods were probably one of my favorite add-ons in the whole build. Very clean, very robust. Those things have been awesome. Wrapped her up with Barrett Hepper, and you guys know the story. But yeah, we're gonna miss this baby. But, Anyways, it ain't going yet, so we're gonna fix this thing up so I can get another ride or two out of her. Gonna move it into my uh, trailer and we'll get to work on her. We gotta pull the front clip off here. We may need a new radiator. Just picked up a. Uh, picked up a couple new tools and uh mostly for wheel changes and clutching um actually the day i picked this up was uh joshua came over to put on his his primary and it was giving me a hard time so i said screw it we're going to get a proper impact and with the polar ba bang thing was off in seconds but mainly wheel changes so that's my wheel change and clutch removal tool right there and then i went to get some new drill bits we got this guy we had a this one probably 100 
Held in there pretty nicely too, actually. Yeah, my body. Yeah, that's good. But uh, a nifty little carrying case. Let's try this thing. Out. Good to go. These are just a uh, Christmas present from the wife. Maximum, actually. These from the parents. Right here. And then you can separate that light. And then come up with the cow in there, I'll see. It won't have the right tool for the job. It makes it so much easier. Yeah. Damage here. The damage here. Ripped it out through here. Ripped it out through here. This rod's not leaking. I've got no puddles. I'm gonna keep using it. See how much damage it's done to these plates right here, eh? It's gonna be fun squeezing the new one back in. All right, well, I got her out of there. Camera died just on time, of course. We're gonna see if we can make it work, but we got our new fan here. And we got our old fan here and the problem is pretty pretty easy to see if you take a gold scanner at just how circular she is so what's going on here is we got pressure from the inside ring it's all mangled basically and it was squeezing and it doesn't take much but to just lift up on this just a tiny bit and she starts rubbing in so i think the fan could be utilized again but this is compromised, so I know it's it's a little bit twisted. There's no doubt about it. We've got to get the bushings out of it. And I got to see if I can get that mounted up without all the twisting. All for one bad landing. One bad landing. Come on now, we can do better. Yeah, I think we're going to be just fine. Right on, boys. All right, boys, she's race day. We're down in Barry. We stopped at the tire shop here, new to you, to do a quick swap before we hit the track over at Horseshoe. So uh, we were going to throw on some 31 Havocs because the guy said that uh, I got a little tip that there was some deep snow and it wasn't going to be the train I thought it was going to be. I thought these would work out for what was going on, but it turns out, no, not so much. So. We were going to throw 31 Havocs on, but the last minute, Roger happened to remember that he had a set of Aqua Treads sitting, uh, I think they're kicking it. Aquaterra? Aquaterra, maybe. And I'm pretty sure that's an Interco, Interco tire. But check out these bad boys. If these don't move some snow, I don't know what will. I think we should leave them on for a week or two and try some water skimming, too, to be honest with you, because I've always been curious as to how they'll work out. But uh, boys are hooking us up right now. We'll get them on the unit over to the races, kick some ass, hopefully. But yeah, buddy, that's how she goes. Would you just look at that, boys? This place looks wild, man. We're gonna go find Bay Marine here. I seen the trailer over yonder. It's tight. There's nowhere to park. Jeez, it's gonna be a riot. Oh yeah, oh, you yeah. see you on the renegade, don't you? Yeah, we run ATV. Nice to meet you, man. Right, man. I watch your videos all the time.
doing a five thousand dollar first race. So the idea I've got is just to keep the car in one piece and stay out of everybody's way. And we'll race the hell out of this thing for the five K. So wish me luck, boys.
got a buddy at 